To create a print file, start with the template used to make the die. Hide the different layers until only the die cut shapes are shown. In a new layer, add your artwork. For overbleed, the artwork will be slightly larger than the cut shape. In this example, the cut shape is 3 inches wide by 4 inches high. The artwork file is 3.08 inches wide by 4.08 inches high. When working in millimeters, a 2 millimeter overbleed is recommended. Select all of the artwork images. Under the object menu, select artboards and then fit to selected art. Select our board and change the width to the width of the material you are using. In this case, it is 8.5 inches or 215.9 millimeters. Next, add the registration black mark. This needs to be 4 millimeters high and have a minimum width of 4 millimeters. It can be wider, depending on the artwork layout. The location of the black mark is critical. It is required to be located 140 millimeters from the top of the artboard to the bottom of the black mark. Finally, save the file under a new name. This is the file that will be sent to the printer. It is important that when saving the file, only the print and black mark layers are visible. To ensure a proper cut in between each printed page, the gap value used by the printer needs to be calculated. For one example, let's assume the gap is 0.25 inches. If we use the print file from earlier in this video, the overbleed is 0.08 inches. Subtract the overbleed value from the gap value. That gives us 0.17 inches. This is the gap value that is set in the printer. For another example, let's assume the gap between cavities is 6 mm and the overbleed in the artwork is 2 mm. Subtract the overbleed value from the gap value. That gives us 4 mm. This is the gap value set in the printer. To set the gap value in the printer, go to Devices and Printers and select Printing Preferences for the L901 printer. Select the Media tab and enter the gap value in Enter Page Gap. 0.17 inches is the value we calculated in our earlier example. Here, millimeters is selected. In our earlier example, 4 millimeters was calculated for the gap size needed.